Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Concrete 5 version 8.2 on your server. I will assume that you have the basic knowledge about your server, and where your server files are saved. In this tutorial, I will use FileZilla, to upload my files to the server. FileZilla is a program, that is used to connect, and upload files to a server. I have already connected to our demonstration server, and that is the window you see here on the right. On the left side, you see the files on your local computer, that you want to copy to the server. Different servers can have different folder names for the root of your website. In our demonstration, it's the, web folder. If in doubt, please ask your service provider. We are now ready to install Concrete 5, and we simply need to go to our website in a browser. I have already done that. The first thing you will see, is the language chooser. Here you will choose, the primary language for your website. Not all languages will be shown here. Only languages translated more than 95% will be listed in your website. If you want to help translating to a missing language, you can do that on concrete5.org. In this tutorial, I will choose English. And then click on the blue arrow button to continue. Concrete 5 will now test your server to see if it can be installed. All green, means all OK. Now, click on the blue, continue to installation button. Now you have to fill out some information about your new website. You need to give your website a name. I will just call this for, installation demonstration, but you should of course choose your own name. The next thing to do, is to write a valid email address, for the administrator of the site. This is the super administrator, who has the username, admin. After you have written the email address, you have to give this user a password. And you have to confirm it, just to be sure you wrote it correctly. You now have to take a decision. Install the site with demonstration content or not. If Concrete 5 is new for you, it would be a good idea to start with the, full site option. If you want to start to build your site from scratch, the empty site option, is the one to choose. Now we need to tell the server, how it should connect to the database. We need to write the path, or IP address to the database server. This can be different for you, so if you are in doubt, please contact your hosting service provider. In this demonstration, I will write the IP address to our server. But again, ask your hosting service provider, for your server information. We also have to write the username and the name of the database. You should also here get the correct names from your service provider. And of course you have to write the correct password for your database. This concludes the main setup for your website. There is some advanced options that could be necessary to set up. But this can be changed after Concrete 5 is installed. So the only thing I will set up now, is the time zone. Because I know that the site will primarily be served from Denmark. Now everything is ready to install Concrete 5. So I just need to click on the blue Install Concrete 5 button. Oops, I just forgot to mention. Your database have to be empty for the installation to run. So be sure to install on a clean database. If you have problems with this task, please contact your hosting service provider for help. I will now delete all the old content in the database, just a moment. Ok, I'll now try to click the install button again. Down here in the left corner, you will see what the installation is actually doing. And the thin blue line at the top is telling you how far in the process the installation is. Just be patient, this process depends on how fast your server can process the data. Keep an eye on the thin blue line at the top, to know how far it is. You can also see that the installation button down to the right, is spinning to tell you that something is happening. So again, just be patient. It is normally not going to take a long time, to finish the installation. You see, the installation is now finished. So you can now navigate to your new website by clicking the blue, edit your site button. 
We are now ready to make some additional settings. The settings I'm going to show you now, is only optional. So you do not need to do it. But sometime it's a good idea. When you are building a new site, you are probably testing out a lot of things. In this situation it's a good idea to have Concrete 5 work as simple as possible. I'm going to show you how to switch off the website cache and to add some additional debugging services. Let's head over to the dashboard control panel. You will see a lot of stuff here, but we are only going to talk about cache and debug information in this tutorial. I'm going to choose there, system and settings menu. And in here, choose the debug settings under the environment section. The default settings is not telling you a lot, but by enabling the show the debug error output, you will be able to see a lot more info if you get into trouble. Just remember to switch it off again when your site is finished, because it may disclose sensitive information. So use only under development. Remember to click the save button. Another thing I will show you, is how to switch off the site cache. Navigate to system and settings, and choose the cache and speed settings menu, under the optimization group. In here you should switch off all cache settings. This will make sure, that your site is not showing you, odd things, while developing your website. Again here, remember to switch it on again, when your website is finished and ready. Remember that cache is a good thing to speed up your website. Oh, remember to click there, save button, before you leave this page. This concludes this tutorial on how to set up Concrete 5 version 8.2. If you have additional questions, you will find a lot of help at the concrete5.org forum section. So, the last thing to say, is happy site building, and good luck with your new website. Bye bye.